remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? An Alabama police chief has apologized after two of his officers were caught posing with a controversial Christmas gift. Preston McGraw and Alexandre Olivier, two officers with the Mobile Police Department, were shown posing with a homeless quilt in a Facebook post on one of the officers' personal profiles. In the post, which was shared on Sunday but has since been deleted, the two men are standing with a collection of signs that were purportedly confiscated from homeless people. Want to wish everybody in Fort Precinct a Merry Christmas, especially our captain, the original post read. Hope you enjoy our homeless quilt. The post was signed, Sincerely Panhandler Patrol. On Monday, Chief Lawrence Batiste responded to the controversy condemning the men's insensitive actions. Yeah, right. You know, these dudes, you can tell where it come from. Leadership starts at the top. For them to post something like that, to be that comfortable posting those signs, making fun of homeless people, that tells you that they got co-signed by their leadership. It's the people that's over them. And I would even say the chief of police probably created the whole atmosphere. They have to answer to him. And for them to send him something like that, perhaps they've been joking like this all along. Perhaps that is the mentality. That is the culture in the police department as it relates to the homeless. These are the people with guns who rush into heated situations and bring the burn. These are the qualified who passed all the tests and given live ammo so they can bounce on the scenes and restore peace and harmony. A homeless quilt made by the Panhandler Patrol, man, come on. This is not a lack of empathy or care. This is state-sanctioned violence, and these are the trophies of their conquests. Now, I'll tell you straight up, I'm personally tired of seeing panhandlers on every corner. It's not safe for the driver, the passengers, or the panhandler, because one fool ran up on me a couple of weeks ago late at night, very few cars on the street, it's like this fool just magically appeared. And I'm like, boy, you about to get your damn noodles now. Get your ass off my car. Like, man, scared the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah, it's not safe. It's not safe. Now, I know that there are going to be people that are going to say, well, you know, not all of these guys are homeless. And we know the game. We know the game. But... Because we don't know who's homeless and who's not. Do we throw the baby out with the bath water? Do we put everybody in a group and we just generalize? You know, we got to, we got to cherry pick this thing out. Because if they're just dealing with all the homeless people, like you could tell that's, that's how they operate. They treat all homeless people that way. They're not picking and out. They're not picking and choosing. They're not saying, oh, yeah, you faking, you're not, you're faking. They're like, oh, he's homeless, let me do him like this. Remember when that cop made a feces sandwich and gave it to that homeless guy? He ended up getting popped and got fired and all that kind of stuff. But some of the stuff that these people do to the homeless, you know, these cops, man, you know, they are some of the worst. To even, to be that, fundamentally unsound, you know, to be that juvenile, to even consider something like that to be funny and to like publicly display something like that. Actually, 
it's one thing to tell a private joke or do something in private, but to actually po post that on social media like he did, that meant that he thought it was okay. That meant that he felt safe within his culture, within his work environment, within the within the structure of his Facebook page and the people who follow him. He felt very comfortable. So what does that say about the people who follow him? Yeah. Yeah, he did it. It was part of a culture. He did it because there's a number of people that he know on a personal level that accepts that type of behavior. I don't believe on looking down on people like that. I think that the way you treat people who can't do anything for you, who have less than you, who can't do anything for you, is a real indication of your character. I think that is the truest indication of your, your character. How you treat those who can do nothing for you. I'm going to leave you with this. Why does cops hate panhandlers so much when all they do on a daily basis is panhandle? No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?